Hey everyone, welcome back to Alan Wake. Last time we got through that really, really awesome uh, defend the stage thing. Even though I'm not really a huge fan of defend this place segments, I uh, actually really like that because it had some freaking awesome music. So we're going to watch this bit again. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Now I could. Stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? I could. And this from hmm. the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. Ooh, burn. So I know that there is a little thing that we could watch. However, unsurprisingly, there's a manuscript page right here. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic. The headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Interesting. I feel like a uh, Thomas the Zane. Okay. Imposing, almost like a battering ram. Oh boy, I'm willing to bet we're gonna have to like fight it or some shit. And yes, I know I could probably watch that TV. I don't really feel like it though. What's over here? Nothing. Awesome. So... Hmm. What is this? Anyways, though, like I was saying before, I wonder if uh, Thomas Zane is the... Uh, was the guy who wrote all their songs. Think about that. That's... Oh. Huh. Anyone behind me? No. It seems not. Anyways, though. So... Oh. Whoa. Didn't actually react to that guy in any way. Oh, look. More people. I probably should just bust out, like, the hunting rifle or something. Just kind of because, you know? Thankfully, though, it's, like, these easy guys. Still missed a shot, unfortunately. Also, let's just... Where the hell is Barry? Is he just down here? Maxing and relaxing all cool? I'm gonna pick up this revolver ammo now. Oh! Hello, guy. Uh oh, this guy's a crazy one. He uh, he can he can move. As long as there's no one behind me still. Where? Get, get out here. Hey, where? I don't know why this guy's just, like zip zapping all around. Come on. Oh! Huh. Well, that works. Alright, I'll take it. Let's, uh, let's explore a little bit, shall we? I was gonna rifle hunt... Hunting rifle the shit out of that guy, but you know what? That works, too. That, uh... That's acceptable. I didn't lose anything out of that. I, I actually benefited quite greatly. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, boy. That's, uh... Uh, let's... Hit you with the hunting rifle! Ugh. Oh, I'm in a bad... Oh, never mind. How did you not get, uh... Get hurt? By that... There? I would very much like to know. Come on. And with two, he goes down. And with one, you go down. I really should be saving these shots, shouldn't I? Ugh. Oh, what the? Alright. Random ass truck. Just kind of... Getting all sorts of messed up and mangled. Probably should stay in one place... I have to adjust my mic. There we go. That should be better. 
admittedly kind of went a little bit of a backwards ass way. How did you get through all of this without getting hurt? Mr. Blumpkinberry. Huh. Moonshine. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Ooh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Police! When you, if you say police as you, uh, as you kick a door open, it adds... Be careful, Al! No shit. Oh, damn it, I don't have a shotgun. Well, let me guess, more shotgun ammo. Is there a shotgun around here? A chance. Doesn't look so. Doesn't look like there is. This whole rock. Oh, okay. All right then, guy. Just empty this up. Uh... Yes, I'm okay. Keep your eyes open, okay? Well, there was a nice little jump scare. Didn't really get me that much, but you know what? It was a, it was a good attempt. There's gonna be something popping out. There's gonna be something. And I'm ready for it. Is that a radio? Whatever. Guess we gotta go all the way up. There's gonna be someone up here, I can guarantee that. Or we're gonna fall- yep, there's a radio. I knew it. What's this? Pick up a heavy-duty lantern. I picked up a heavy- okay. So I just picked up another one. Alright. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Uh, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I, I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, oh shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Oh, they're implying the uh, deputy guy, whoever his name is. What's his face? The guy that shot at us like a dumbass. Yeah, I don't like that guy. He's kind of a jerk. Oh, look at this. Just do some of that and some of that. Some lithium battery. Blip, blip. Blip, blips I could pick up. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Uh-huh. Please. Why do I feel like this thing is going to come into play? I, I don't know why. I just have a, a little bit of a hunch. Oh, yeah. Plus, they're loading us up with stuff. Yeah. This thing's going to come alive. I can... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, boy. Well... God damn it. Are there more people around here with me? Oh, of course there are. 